the DMG Mori Open House here in Fronton. Another world premiere, the DMF 300. And Tobias uh, here is going to tell us about this machine. Um, what's good about this, this DMF 311, uh, Tobias? Yeah, this is our new machine, DMF 300-11. Um, it's the biggest machine that we produce in Seebach at the moment. Um, this machine uh, is for our customers in oil field, uh, customers or customers which makes huge parts. Yeah. Um, this machine is a rigid, very rigid machine. Uh, we have a complete cast iron base. Um, we have three linear guideways in the y -axis, in the x-axis, and we have a complete um, yeah, rigid y-axis. Yeah, so the y-axis now moves as a whole casting, doesn't it? Whereas the before moves. it was like a ram. So yeah. is it, that's, that's considered to be a better construction, yeah. is it? Yeah, it's a complete new concept. Um, in comparison to the old DMF range, now the Y-axis moves with the complete cast base um, and not the beam like before. So we can guarantee a complete uh, stiffness and a better accuracy over the whole working envelope. And one of the other things I notice about this machine is the tool changer is actually mounted here on the, on the casting, isn't it? So if you're not going to go over to the other side of the machine or the, the head's not got to go over there to change the tool, is it? Oh, we can see it in action, perfect yeah. timing. That's right. Um, it's also a new, complete, a complete new concept which, uh, regarding the tool changer. The tool changer is mounted directly on the traveling column, so we can, we can re reduce our uh, tool changing times. And as you could see uh, here, the tool changing process is completely behind the table surface. Yeah, this is also a, a difference to the former DMF range, so our customers can use the complete table surface to uh, fix their parts and there is no collision when the, when the tool changing process starts. You're kind of maximizing the space that yeah. they, can, they can machine. Uh, this table here is a, is a five axis as well, isn't it? That's, a, that's an indexing table, but could it turn as well? Uh, we have the option for mill turn for the DMF 300, yeah, uh, of course. Um, we have the possibility to put also uh, a C axis in the right um, envelope, working envelope. This machine here, we, you can see here, is not uh, equipped with mill turn. But yes, this option is, uh, is available, and we have 700 RPM uh, uh, in, in the table to do a turning process. And that head as well, I just noticed that goes to negative angles as well, so you can get right under parts too. Yeah, we have uh, increased uh, the swiveling angle of the B-axis head, and now we have plus 120 degrees and minus 120 degrees. So you can do a negative cut as well. Okay, now can I have that door open while this one's shut? Am I able to load a what they call pendulum machining. Yeah, we can do pendulum machining, yes, of course. And this is also one of the benefits here. Uh, you can do the, the adjustment and, and, and fixing new parts and what else. And in the other working envelope, uh, the machine can, can produce the parts. And what I like about this is this, this Y-axis is fully extended. Yes. And, and what we're talking about, the way the machine is constructed now, it means that it's, it's, it's as capable in that position of machining you know, um, hard and fast, as it is when it's retracted, isn't it? Because yeah. the, the distance between the cast part of the column and the center of the spindle is always the same. It, it doesn't matter if the y-axis is completely out or inside. Yeah. Yeah. To take that partition out, how long does that take? Uh, to take the partition wall out, it will take around about 20 minutes. You have to loosen um, some screws on the bottom of the table, table surface, and there is one electrical plug uh, uh, on top. And then you need a crane, and then you can bring it in the backside of the machine, and there is a, a kind of station uh, or, uh, where, you can, where you can keep this, this wall. Okay, you so need. you could take that out, and then you could just machine a very long part. Yeah, you can machine over the complete working envelope three meter. Yeah. Okay, fascinating machine. Do they go bigger than the 300, or is this the first one? We want to, or we, we're planning now the 400-11. Um, it's now under design. Uh, we think that we can... Um, but this is only uh, my opinion. I think we can uh, make the world premiere middle of 2024, well, maybe. Um, and we're planning also to doing the big tappers. This is HSK 63 at the moment, but we know that our customers are waiting for HSK 100 or SK, 40, uh, SK 50 as well. Yeah.